Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Come and see you again in Solomon. I am Pastor Barbara Abraham. Amen. We're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have already done. Oh, God, we ask you that you will bless, Lord, that you will heal, that you will deliver, that you will strengthen. Oh, God, move in the midst of this service. Glorify thy holy name, Lord. Deliver people, oh, God, and save people. Heal people, Lord. Oh, God, make ways. Open up doors. Bind the hand of the adversary. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, we bring before you none other than our praise and worship team. Put your hands together and let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Simple worship. Hallelujah. Lord. As we go before the Lord on this morning, even though you may be in your homes, be still in the house of God. And we're going to glorify him. Hallelujah. But that's so with us. Come on, as we say. The Lord is my light, salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light, salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. I will wait.
But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. Anybody been redeemed? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Amen. Go back with me to the book of Joshua. The fifth verse. And then I'm going to swing back over unto Isaiah, that 23rd chapter, and that second verse. Joshua 1 and 5. The Bible said, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all. I want you to understand all. The Lord said, All the days of thy life. And there is a reason. He said, as, as I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. Listen to this. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Uh, Isaiah 43 and 2. When thou passest through the water, I will be with thee. And through the river they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Amen. I want you to say this to somebody if you're near someone. And if you're not, just simply talk to yourself. Tell somebody or tell yourself right now. God is. God is. God is. And will be. With you. with you. Say it again. God is, which is right now. And is. And will be. And will be. Future. With you. With you. Hallelujah. God is. You got to know it for yourself right now. Right. Amen. You're not waiting on him to get there. But he is right now. God is. Right. Hallelujah. And in the future, he will be with you. God is, and he will be with you. Amen. I, I began to think about how we as mankind tend to deal with one another. Uh, some of you, a man can attest to this fact that there have been some friends in your life that told you they were ride or die friends. It meant that they would be there and stick with you through the thick end of the thin. Ah, that they would never leave your side. Ah, only to realize ah, that you ran into a situation. Ah, it meant sometimes you were out there you were beefing, uh, amen, with a couple of folk, uh, amen, though your friend told you uh, that they would never leave your side. Uh, when the fight broke out, uh, amen, you looked around and your friend was gone. Uh, they said they would be there, uh, but they forsook you at a time uh, that you were in uh, need, uh, amen, but God Ah! 
stone. Ha! Ah, they might be in a grief. Ha! Ah, emotion right now. Ha! Lord, have mercy. Ha! See, see. Ha! Thirteen years ago. Ha! My mother passed away. Ha! Today would be her birthday. Ha! Amen. August the twenty-third. Ha! But because. I found Jesus, but I really didn't find him. I, he found me. I, I'm able I, to continue on I, the journey with him. I, do I miss my mother? I, you better believe it. I, do I still cross sometimes? I, you better believe it. I, yes, I do. I, yes, I do. Because there's nobody I, like your mama. I, but I, I know somebody I, that's greater than mama. I, that's greater than daddy. And he is the one ha, that holds my future ha, in his hand. Ha. He is the one ha, that let me know ha, I am with you ha, and I will ha, always ha, be there. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can't tell me that God is not great ha, and is not worthy ha, to be praised. Ha. Oh, my Lord, ha, the scripture says ha, that he's greatly ha, to be praised. Ha, and I ha, agree with the word. Ha, you can't praise him enough. Ha, you can't glorify him enough. Ha, you can't magnify him enough. Ha, Lord, ha, I hear the word of God say, ha, oh, magnify him. Ha, the Lord with me. Ha, and let us ha, exalt his name ha, together. Ha, enter to his gates. Ha, into his court with praise be thankful under him and bless, bless, bless bless, bless, bless bless, I say bless his holy name Hallelujah Oh yes Oh he's worthy he's worthy to be magnified He's worthy to be glorified. Ha. He's worthy ha, to be exalted. Ha. And sometimes, ha, even in your mental life, ha, we go ha, before a preacher ha, or whoever ha, at the courthouse ha, that marry us. Ha, and we take the vows ha, and we say, ha, I will ha, be with you ha, until death. Ha, do us part. Ha, for better ha, or for worse. For richer, ha, or for poor, ha, I will keep ha, only under thee. Ha, but sometimes ha, it's how going. Ha, there is a forsaken. Ha, there is a leaving. Ha, there is a separating. Ha, there's a pulling apart. Ha, see you and understand. Ha, the Bible ha, have already told us. Ha, we are not the trusting horses. Ha, trusting chariots. Ha, but we are. Ha, to remember. Ha, the name. Come to tell you, they're just flesh and 
y'all. Some of y'all didn't get it. Cause God said there shall not be, there shall not any man be. Oh, wait a minute. Woo! This is just good. Who I'd like to say like the scripture say, because the scripture can say it even better. You know what I'm saying? There shall not be any man. There shall not any man be able.
forsake you. Now that don't mean no harm. I'm not gonna leave nobody like that. He never gonna fail, and he's never forsake. Woo. And you know, even though some people won't do, they just can't. Sometimes can't. They want to do it. And all of us that have been in that predicament, or most of us, where we say we're gonna do one thing, but something happens that we it is beyond our control, and we really can't do it. We wanted to do it, but we couldn't. But God is not in that category. What he says he's going to do. God said, have I not said it? Have I said it and shall I not perform it? Mm -hmm. ah, if God says a thing, he performs the thing. And matter of fact, when God says the thing, he already has performed the thing. Yes, yes, oh, yes. He performed it before it came to your natural ear. Yes. So, so, so he's not waiting for it to get done. Ah, oh, Lord have mercy. Because he said, I'm from everlasting to everlasting. If he's from everlasting to everlasting, then he's already done all of this, that, and the other. Yes. Amen. He declared the end from here, yes. from the beginning, from the start. He declared the end from the start. Yes. So he already was at the end. Yes. Oh, he said, I am Alpha and Omega. Yes. I am the beginning. I am. Yes. Yes.
Hallelujah. Some of us too tired of God with the devil. Uh-huh. And we consider that not leaving. You already left, baby. When you two times you left. And you don't even know you left. Because God said, I want it all. I want your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength. I want all of you. He said, if you try to straddle the fence, you are lukewarm and I spew you out of my mouth. How do you think you have not left God when you're on the other side of the fence? Part of you is on the other side of the fence, baby. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's a forsaken right there. Oh, bless his holy name. Hallelujah. And you can't be with two people, really, at the same time. Your heart is with one. You're one place at one time. I hope you know that because you hear me. You're not God. Hallelujah. 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 There's a reason why Jesus said, to whom ye yield your members to obey his servant, ye are to whom ye obey. Maybe that made it a little bit plainer. If you serve in the devil this moment, you are the devil's servant. And stop trying to say you're on the Lord's side. You are not on God's side right now. You're on the devil's side. Hallelujah. Lord, have mercy. But I begin to think about the word. To keep on going with the word. We know that God chose Abram and brought him out of the land where his country men were. And they were serving out of God. And God called him out from amongst all of that. Amen. And God told him he was going to lead him to a place that he would show him. Amen. And Abraham went and followed after the Lord. Amen. The Bible continue on and we realize that Abraham began Isaac. Amen. But during the time of Abraham, there was a famine in the land and Abraham went down into Gerar. Amen. Where Abimelech was. And amen. He journeyed there in that land. Amen. Well, another famine came during the time of Isaac. Amen. And Isaac kind of was like, I don't know what to do, but apparently perhaps he had Egypt on his mind to go down to Egypt. And God spoke to Isaac and said, look here. He said, don't go down to Egypt. Huh? He said, what I want you to do is I want you to stay right here. Because he went down to Abimelech. Amen. And Gerar. God said, I want you to stay here. Huh? He said, I want you to go down to Egypt. Huh? He said, stay here and I will be with thee. Woo. Now I'm going to say again, there was a famine in the land. Uh -huh. Stay here and I will be with thee. Because sometimes you want to hop up and run when it seems like there's a famine somewhere. It might be the church that you're going to and you feel like there's a famine and you're not getting everything like you need to get it. But God still wants you to be there because he got you there for a reason. Don't go nowhere. God says I am with you. You don't move till God say move. Amen. Now when God say move, move. Amen. But God ain't saying move over your flesh because what you don't like. Yep. Who cares what you don't like? God knows what you need. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. True. God said don't go nowhere. He said I'm with you. I'm going to be with you. And the Bible said that Isaac soul right there in that place the place where God told him to stay. Let me explain this. If you go where God has not told you to go, don't expect him to go with you. No, this is not on your turn. This is on his turn. Hallelujah. God said, stay right here. And because he obeyed God, he saw. And check this out. God said that Isaac reaped. Whew. Wait a minute, because this this do something to me. Because <laughs> you, you plant some corn, you plant some greens, plant some tomatoes, you know, you plant some rice. Now, this right here might do real good, but most likely everything is not going to do real good. It might give you a little bit of something, 
But listen to what God did because he was obedient. And God said, I will be with you. God wanted him to know, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my word. The Bible said he planted and received in that same year. Some things don't go grow real good the first year. Oh my God, but when God is with you. The Bible said in that same year, he reaped a hundredfold of everything because God was with him. Don't worry about the famine. When God is with you, he'll cause you to prosper in the midst of the famine. My God. Somebody said, won't he do it? Yes, he will. I know that's right. I know he will. He will do exactly what he said. Now, that was Isaac. Then we went on to Jacob. We see when Jacob had to leave from home, but remember, Jacob was called. Uh-huh. Well, what you saying, preacher? See, sometimes called people get out of line. Jacob was chosen by God. But he got out of line. But what I want to say to you chosen folk, amen, that don't mean you can just get out of line and think everything's going to be all right. Huh? No, God's going to turn you up. Huh? I want you to know that. Huh? Oh, he is going to turn you up. Huh? But he chose you. Huh? He chose Jacob. Huh? Amen. So when Jacob had to leave from home, huh? amen, God met him huh? on his journey. Huh? Amen. And he saw a ladder huh? going up to heaven. Huh? Amen. When he woke up, huh? he said, I didn't know this was the house of the Lord. Huh? Didn't let him 
mess it up. God kept his word. He brought him back to that place like he said he would. And then took him on to his father's house. Amen. In the rightful place where he really belonged. Amen. God gonna put you where you belong. Huh? Uh huh. Somebody that strayed away. Huh? The mercy of God is still covering your life. Huh? Because you've been chosen by the Lord. Huh? Amen. For a purpose. Huh? And the devil tried to destroy you. Huh? And he wasn't able to do it. Huh? And you're wondering why? Huh? Because the call is still there. Huh? And the purpose is still there. Huh? If it was not there, huh? God will let the devil take your life. Huh? And don't play no games with him. Huh? Because you don't know which side you're on. Huh? You don't know whether you're on the side. That's gonna have some predication uh, on what you do, huh? On the side, huh? That had nothing to do with you, huh? That's why you wanna stay on God's good side. Yes. Woo! Yes, Lord. Don't play with it. Somebody tell somebody, don't play with it. Don't play with it. If you by yourself, tell yourself, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Hallelujah. Don't, don't play, don't play, don't play. It's not no game, it's serious. This serious stuff. It's real serious stuff. You better understand God is nothing to be played with. Amen. I'm going to jump on over here to the book of Isaiah. And this is what I'm going to try to basically start wrapping myself up here. The book of Isaiah. Amen. When we get to that second verse, that 50, 43rd chapter, he said, when thou passest through the waters. Wait, 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 wait. He said when. He didn't say if. Yes. Wait. Yes. <laughs>
The water came up to your ankles. And then it came up to your knees. It came up to your thighs. Went on up to your waist. Hallelujah, and it got up above your shoulder. Now it's up around your neck. Huh? And it just seemed like you sure enough going to die. Huh? But God have already spoken. Huh? That you shall not die, but you shall live to declare the words of the Lord. You're going to live. It's not going to overflow you. It's not going to do it. When thou passest through the fire, sometimes it get mighty hot, honey. Sometimes the fire get turned up. Like with the Hebrew boys. It's not just the regular kind. You can kind of stand that. But the heat get turned up on you. Lord, have mercy. And you're like, Lord, it's sure enough hot up in here. <laughs> Whoa! Ha! This thing about to burn me up. Ha! But God wants you to know, no, honey. Ha! It ain't going to burn you up. Ha! It's just going to burn something out. Ha! It's not going to burn it up. Ha! But it's not going to burn you up. Ha! But it's going to burn something out. Ha! And burn something off. Ha! That's all it's sent to do. Ha! The devil sent it to burn you up. Ha! But it can't burn you up. Ha! Because I'm with you. Ha! I was in the fire. Ha! With the Hebrew boys. Ha! I was there. Ha! When they got thrown in. Ha! And they fell down. Ha! With everything they had on. Ha! With their holes in. Ha! With everything they had tied them up. Ha! They fell down. Ha! In the midst of the fire. Ha! But I wanted to show my glory. Ha! I wanted to show my glory. I loosed them in the fire. Fire just burn off the ropes. Huh? Burn off the ropes. Huh? Something tied you up in your spirit. Huh? And the test has come huh? to loose you huh? from what they tied you up. Huh? The burn off the ropes. The fire is not sent to burn you up. It can't burn you up. Because he's with you. But it can burn off and burn off something that don't belong there. And purify something that's already there, but you got some stuff mixed in. You want to be gold? Huh? God's going to burn off the drop. Huh? It's going to rise to the top. Huh? And God's going to show you this, this was in you. Huh? This was in you. Huh? See, every time the fire huh, get intense, huh? God start letting you see some stuff. Huh? Stop looking at everybody else. Look at what they did to me. Huh? Oh, look at what they did to me. Huh? Look at this. Look at that. Huh? God said, no, look at this. Look at this. Huh? Listen, 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 listen. Huh? No, you don't love strong enough. Huh? Your love ain't great enough. Huh? See, I'm taking you to another high. Huh? I want you to learn how to forgive huh? at a deeper depth. Huh? I'm trying to teach you something. Huh? I'm trying to move you forward. Huh? I'm trying to take you higher. Huh? And I'm trying to increase huh? what I already put in you huh? so you can come forth huh? as pure gold. Huh? And so you can come forth huh? white as huh? Yeah. Some people are so busy complaining. This don't make no sense. I don't know why God let this happen. No, this don't make no sense. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to cry, baby, because you're going to cry. But don't complain when you cry. Don't complain. Say, Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, God. And yes, yes, yes. You're going to have to get to a place where you really mean that. And say, Lord, I just want to thank you. I'm so glad I got to that place. I can say, Lord, I just want to thank you. I really mean it. Oh, it might not feel good, but I know it's good. Oh, it might not feel good, but I know it's good. It might not look good, but I know it's good. And Lord, I just want to thank you because it's doing something in me and it's doing something for me. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes
And lo, I am with you, even unto the end of the world. God is with you. God is and he will be with you. Jesus died on that cross. He died on that cross to signify that God is with you. Not only that, the scripture said, and they would call his name Emmanuel, which means or which shall be interpreted God with us. Hallelujah. God with us. That's why he hung on that cross. To pay a ransom for your sins and for mine. And if you would just let him come on in the inside and let him take him into the road within you, you can take him everywhere you go. Yeah. Hallelujah. God wants you to know that he is and he will be with you. Hallelujah. He is and he will be with you. Glory be to his holy name. Now at this time, we ask that you will be reciprocal so as you have received, that you will also give. Go to your Givelify app on your cell phone. Givelify. I did mine at home this morning. Go to your Givelify app and give your Sunday offering. Donation, whichever one you want to call. Both is listed there on Sunday morning offering. Go ahead and bless the Lord with your substance. That's what the Bible tells us to do. Amen. And you will lift up his ministry with your gift. Back into the hands of our praise and worship team. They got something they want to say for you.
your mighty for blessings. Amen. God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Know this that we love you, but God.